But we're talking about this healing journey, right? What is it that people really need to brace themselves for when they decide, I want to start dealing with my stuff, right? Because it sounds very soothing to say, oh, you're going to be healed. And the only thing they have perspective on is a scratch, a bump, a skin knee that they just watch the skin just come back to life on top of it with ease. There was a little bit of discomfort when the fracture or uh, the scrape initially occurred, but for the most part, the healing journey of that bumper bruise happened without notice. And I can tell you, that ain't how it go down, right? <laughs> Not at Not all. all. Not at all. Um, That is so funny. So here's what most people that embark on a healing journey are not ready for and are not ready to hear is the fact that you have to be willing and ready to own your part because I can tell you the truth. There are so many people that want to be right about being wronged. And many of us have been wronged. You know, we can, we can fill up a stadium of grievances of people who did us dirty, didn't take care of, neglected, abandoned, abused, you know, like all the things, right? And there's val- validity in that, okay? Like there's validity in those experiences and in that pain. But the part that we have to own, the part where we have to look at ourselves and say, okay, in what ways did I make this person think that it was okay to treat me this way? Okay, uh, in what ways did I give my power away by not setting appropriate boundaries? In what ways did I internalize messages about uh, my own worthiness and, you know, allowed myself to be treated as though I was unworthy. That's the part, like healing is a mirror and it's a crucible, you know, and you will find yourself in it. You'd be like, oh, because we tend to have these, you know, elevated self-perceptions due in large part by when people start rattling off their credentials, you know, they talk about the kind of house they live in and the kind of car they drive and the school they graduated from and the kind of clothes they wear and how much they cost and all of that. Right. Um, But that has nothing to do with who you are. That has nothing to do with how you show up in relationships. That has nothing to do with how you handle things like failure, how you think about things like failure, um, how you recover from things, you know, that don't go right. You know, do you have a fixed mindset? Do you have a growth mindset? Mm -hmm. Healing will show yourself to yourself. There are two things that I can think of off the top, uh, three, okay, that will show yourself to yourself in ways that you never imagined. Three dynamics, money, money will expose you. And like, it just brings out more of your character and it shows you who you really are. Marriage, will show yourself to yourself in ways that you just, you see yourself reflected back in this other person and you like, oh, wow. Like (laughs) clearly I have some work to do. And motherhood, marriage, money, and motherhood, okay, will expose you in ways and healing has has the same kind of characteristics of that is that when you really start uh, analyzing and getting beyond the emotions and getting beyond the feelings and you really kind of take a step back and you start to see the ways that we can often participate in our own demise, that's the part that we're not ready for. And then once we recognize that we participated in our own demise, now we have to take responsibility and do something about it. Because once you know it, you can't unknow it. And I want to go on record and say, there are some situations that we had no quote unquote party in. We were set upon, we were victimized, like wrong. Okay, like, and that part Another part that people struggle with is the radical acceptance part. Radical acceptance is I didn't deserve this. I, you know, why has this happened to me? You know, but but because it did, I'm going to accept that it did. And now I'm going to take responsibility for what happens in my life next. What happened then that I didn't have any control over, that I didn't have any agency in, that, you know, just came out of nowhere and shook my world all up. I accept that that has happened. And I also accept that 
I want to have a life that is not characterized and defined by that occurrence. And now I'm going to take the steps to do something different and move in a different way. So owning your part in terms of how you've contributed to your demise and also owning your part in terms of being responsible for the healing that takes place afterwards so that you are not characterized by all of the negative things that have happened to you in your life. (music) 